for anyone watching this video in the future. Just know that this is an early guide and that strategies could change over time. I recommend watching a run of whatever is the current world record for any notable differences. Hey everyone and welcome to the speedrun guide for the Lotus Spring Run. As usual, I will talk about the controls for the frog boxing gloves along with the controls that you might want to change in your system menu in order to make this most comfortable run. And I will go over every detail possible so that way you can compete for world top times. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So for this run, there are a few things we will do with the frog boxing gloves. One of them is swinging across these little sticky rolling pins. You will be doing this a lot and I recommend just getting used to the timing of being able to know when you can exactly use those at the most opportune moment. I will go more into detail on that on the run. The last thing you'll want to know with these gloves is how to do the long jump. So basically all we're going to do is we're going to chain some frog attacks in the middle of our jump. So it'll be something like jump, frog, hover, frog, spin, frog. And that doesn't have to be done in that particular order. You can choose any one you want. And as always, if you want to customize your button assignments to make them run more comfortable for you, then you need to go to your system settings, go to accessibility, go down to controllers, custom button assignments for the controller, enable that, and then customize the buttons to whatever you want them to be. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's get started with the run. The majority of this run is about the timing of swinging across the sticky rolling pins. And that is going to be what saves you the most time more than anything. So I use a lot of visual cues to figure out exactly when I can start doing that. Before the run begins, we're going to want to move Astro closer to this right side. And that's because as this run starts, we're going to slowly be going to the right. So if we start on the right side, we can cut out a frame or two just by standing on the right side of the ribbon. Next, we need to attach to this first rolling pin. What I like to do is you see this third blue arrow on the ground. I like to do a full jump. And when Astro is at the peak of his jump, I immediately do a punch with the glove so I can stick to this first rolling pin and swing across. After that swing, stick closer to the right side of this trampoline as you bounce on it in order to cut out a little more time. After the trampoline bounce, just as Astro is starting to fall from the peak of his jump, start doing a hover. And then as you're hovering, as he's starting to fall from the peak of his hover, stick to this next rolling pin. This next section could be quite tricky, but there is an easier way to set this up so that way we can hit it more consistently. So what we're going to have to do is on these right set of barrels here, we need to destroy one of them in order to bring the trampoline down one level. Then we need to jump on top of the trampoline while it's on top of that first barrel. Once you hit the trampoline, you're going to need to do a well-timed spin and a hover and a frog attack in order to get up here. So let me show you how I do this. Starting with this first barrel, what we need to do is we need to destroy it at max range so that way we can easily jump up on top of the trampoline and make the next jump that we're going to need. So you see these two little square stone corners. What I like to do is I like to visualize an imaginary line between them. And just as I'm about to cross that line, I will do a punch with the glove and it will destroy the barrel and I know I've done it at max range. And here's the tricky part. You need to jump immediately whenever you attack that barrel. And it's only within a few frames of whenever you destroy that barrel. So I would practice almost hitting the punch and jump at the same time. But you're going to barely hit the jump after the frog punch. If you successfully landed on the trampoline, when Astro reached the peak of his jump, you need to do a midair spin, a hover at the end of that spin, and then a double frog punch. And this is just hitting both of the triggers at the same time, or if you change controls or whatever, you change those two. And if you're lucky, you can actually get a little bit of an edge on your run and get pulled forward. This rarely happens, but it does happen sometimes. So it's kind of some free time you can go for. If you are finding you are falling short of the jump, this could be one of two reasons. The first one may be that you're not doing the spin and the hover and the double frog punch combination at the peak of Astro's jump. Or one other one could be that instead of landing on top of the trampoline, you're actually landing on the side of it, which is going to put you slightly lower, but it will be just low enough that you won't have enough height to reach the next platform. Once you're on top of this platform, we're going to need to destroy this barrel and stick to this rolling pin right in front of us. And what I like to do to make sure that I'm sticking to it as soon as possible, there's a couple of rings on the ground. 
So what I like to do is I like to do a hover with Astro, and just as his lasers are crossing over this inner ring, I do a punch, and that lets me know that I stuck to the rolling pin at the earliest opportunity. This next section, we're going to stick to a lot of different rolling pins. I don't have a whole lot of advice for this one other than you'll just kind of have to keep practicing this section and just get used to the feeling of it. Because for this very first one, you're going to do a small hover and then immediately do a punch to stick to the next rolling pin. And once that swings you around, you're going to need to do a hover to get to this middle rolling pin. And we're just going to stand on top of it. After that, jump to the left and then do a hover and get yourself just high enough to stick to the rolling pin above you. It is very important that you go left and not right because we need to swing to the right in order to save as much time as possible because that's the next rolling pin that we're going to need to stick to. Once you have stuck to that rolling pin above you, to stick to this last rolling pin, I just look for the exact moment that Astro has let go of the previous rolling pin. This gives me an almost frame perfect opportunity to stick to the last one. Once you've swung up from this last rolling pin, the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to hover beside this barrel and you're going to want to land on this down slope and get a slide. It is very important that you land on the slope and not land before it and then walk down the slope. If you land on it, you will get a little more speed, which will give you a little more distance when you jump. Once you've made that jump, just do a small hover and then stick yourself to the rolling pin above you and then land on this trampoline and go all the way up. You will notice that Astro will graze against this wall in front of him as he's going up. There's no way to avoid this. You just have to go with it and just keep moving on. The next section is pretty straightforward. As you're jumping up, just destroy the barrels to reveal the trampolines and then jump on them as you're going across. Next, we have this barrel rolling toward us. And all we need to do is jump on top of it. I usually aim for these black ribbons on the right side because it seems like you get a better jump off the barrel whenever you aim for these. So, just jump on top of the barrel, and then do another jump, and a small hover, which is barely even existent, and then do a punch, and you will stick to this topmost rolling pin. After that, we have another rolling pin in front of us. This one is super easy to set up, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So we need to get to this wooden platform in front of us. Once you get near the edge, do a full jump with Astro, and the moment you see Astro's shadow disappear, do a frog punch, and you will grab onto this rolling pin at the earliest opportunity possible. After you've swung from that, hold your joystick directly to the left, and then do a mid-air spin, and then a hover, and that's going to tilt this platform so that way we can quickly run up it. You may want to jump off early, but honestly, just run all the way up to the top until you get to the gap of where these frogs are and then jump directly between the gap of them. Be careful that you're not too close to the wall where the frogs are whenever you try to make this jump, because you will hit your head and get stuck under it. After that, we have a very long jump to make. So there are multiple ways to handle this. I normally just do a full jump, a mid-air spin, and a hover, and then I stick to this last rolling pin. If you are having trouble with that, you can chain in your frog punch attacks in the middle of your jump in order to create more distance. So you would do something like a jump, frog punch, spin, hover, and then stick to the rolling pin. Whatever method you choose, it doesn't matter. It all works the same. You don't lose or gain time either way. Once we swing from that last rolling pin, we need to land on top of this obstacle. And what we're going to do is as we walk across it, we're going to punch it since it will move toward the go and that will actually push us toward the go. You may be tempted to try to attack at your earliest opportunity multiple times, but this is actually worse. The reason this is worse is you can only hit this obstacle three times, but as it is moving, if you hit it again, it doesn't count as a punch. So what we need to do is we need to space out our punches to get the perfect timing to where we can hit it as soon as it's ready. Just practice this section and practice on only getting two punches in it because that's all we're going to use. Once you get both punches, you're going to want to do a small jump to get up here to where the go is, and then one last small jump to land on the button and clear the stage. This ending is fairly tricky to pull off, so don't get discouraged if you're not making any progress. Just keep at it, and eventually you will notice that you are getting the boost you need, and then you need to practice the small jumps in order to reach the go. Now that we know how to run the stage, here's exactly what a run looks like with all of those strategies pulled off.
I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped you. And if you want to see me do some runs live, I stream on both YouTube and Twitch. You get more rewards for being a follower on Twitch, but it's up to you, whichever one you want to do. And I also have a membership that you can subscribe to on the channel. It is only 99 cents. You get a pretty cool badge by your name that slowly changes the longer you keep your membership. And you also get some custom emotes that you can use both on live streams and on comments of some of my videos. And with that, I will see you all when the next stage drops. Good luck with your runs.